working with Oliver, and I don't know if he's been up here, is, is an experience because yeah. as a director, he, he, really, he really tests you. Mm -hmm. And by saying that, we all kind of have this image that the director is sort of the patriarch and the father figure, and actors are all sort of insecure, and you have to nurture the actors and encourage them and develop, you know, bring them forward. Um, Oliver, who was a Vietnam veteran and had a pretty tough war, mm -hmm. he treats you as if you could be in the trench with him. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, he is, he is, he is very confrontational. So. I was about two weeks. Um, I was about two weeks into the shoot of the picture and trying to get up to speed with his sort of uh, guerrilla style. And Bobby Richardson was the uh, was the handheld cameras and the lim limousine scenes in the back of the limousine and having that handheld right up in your face and doing these speeches. And you know, I thought it was going okay. And I was, you know, we'd already done a couple of. And he came into my trailer one day and uh, he said. Uh, how are you? I said, okay. He said, yeah. I said, you doing drugs? I said, no, I'm not, I'm not, doing, I'm not doing drugs, no. Because you look like you never acted before in your life. <laughs> and I went, whoa, man. Now, I personally, <laughs> if, uh, <clears throat> if, I'm not, if I am not producing the picture mm -hmm. and have to see dailies, mm -hmm. The joy of acting mm -hmm. is is the innocence and, and not having to worry about that. Right. So I don't ever go look at dailies because as mm -hmm. an actor, I never do unless there's an issue because I'll always pick out the one critical thing that will never be in the picture, but that'll be it. Mm -hmm. So I said, geez, well, I guess I better go take a look. He said, yeah, you better. <laughs> so I go up to the editing room and we'd already done, I said, we'd done this, um, the, uh, the seduction scene in the back of the limo about being a player and this and that, you can have the, this. And we'd done the scene in 21 Club. Mm -hmm. And I'm super critical. I'm looking, I said, well, I don't know, it's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> so I came back to Oliver and I said, um, Oliver, I, you know, I, I thought it was okay. He said, yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> so I said, what are you doing? What, 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 what? And basically, what he wanted was to ratchet up about that much more nastiness mm -hmm. in Gordon Gecko, mm -hmm. And he was willing, as the director, mm -hmm. for me to hate him for the rest of that movie, mm -hmm. right? Just to bring it up a little more. Mm -hmm. So by the time we did the, the big, um, uh, you know, trading greed is good speech scene, mm -hmm. and we shot it from all the different angles, and we came to my close up on the whole, the whole scene, mm -hmm. um, he said, action, roll it. I was doing my speech, and, and, and Oliver was right by the camera, and he was looking at the text. Mm -hmm. He never looked at me. He looked at the text, and he made sure that every word was right. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was the turning point. <laughs> I, was like, I said, come here. So we went. But <laughs> looking back, so that, that was, he was willing to do that. Now, looking back at mm -hmm. Oliver, mm -hmm. You look at Jimmy Woods in El Salvador, you look at Charlie Sheen in Platoon, you mm -hmm. look at Kevin Costner in LBJ, you look at Tom Cruise mm -hmm. in Born on the Fourth of July, you look at every actor who's probably given his best performance mm -hmm. with Oliver Stone because he tests you. Mm -hmm. and, he's, and he's not afraid and he doesn't treat you like a wuss. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, he respects actors. So.